Welcome back, YouTube, to another video. I do apologize for the glowing sunlight in the background. I am doing it at freaking noon, so can't be helped. Uh, but yeah, today we are getting into a strange topic. Well, strange to me, not so much strange to you. What do I mean? Donnan subject that hit me. Facepalm, in other words. Um, so let's get into it. So I was met with a random letter. A PM, a private message, whatever you want to call it, said I needed to look back at an event that took place between two and three years ago. However, I analyzed it, and the only thing that came up was something I already let go. The kicker. Before I even received this random message, I thought to myself, you know what, I still know I have not healed from this event that just happened in 2019, which was a couple, I'm going to say within six months ago, uh, again, 2019, the date and the message said two or three years ago, so I kind of knew it wasn't that, however, it was. Reason. Boom. Like, mind blown. Like, completely mind blown. So, you know, I kept talking to myself about how I knew I did not heal this event. That I never came to terms with something. So, back up. What do we have? Looking back at your past, you have events, certain trauma, if you will, which will catapult you into who you are today. However, you never really let go of the past trauma. So the matches said to me, hey, look back at your past. God sent me to you. Your soul reached out wanted you to heal this, however, because I already knew, I kept telling myself, hey, I know I never really got over this, I never really let go, and then this much is said, look back before this event that you knew you're not over yet, however, this much is said, it wasn't that much it it was not that event, it was something before. However, I analyzed the past and it was like, you know what, there was no then else to do. Why? I already let go of all the trauma I thought I still had inside. What in the world do I mean? What is the point of this? Point? Simple. Shadow work. Shadow self. Is there a point in me I have not healed or I need to work on? What is there left to do? Looking back, I discovered this. I used to say I was a demon child. I thought I was evil. I thought I was a demon. I had so much darkness. No, I am not of the darkness. I am not a demon. I am not the spawn of the Satan. I am not a spawn of the devil that I used to think I was. However, this is what I did discover. The Trauma made me think that, however, without the pain, without the darkness, 
I would have never discovered this new thing. The new thing is this. My soul is of light. I am a light worker. I turn darkness or past trauma or whatever is gotten under my skin into power, into strength, and therefore to help others through helping myself, in a sense. So, looking back, I can say, you know what? I did a thing. I screwed up. Okay, I was uh, talking to myself earlier about how, um, okay, how do I, plain speaking, it is, okay, you have these gods, right? They think they are unflawed, peel perfect. However, coming to earth, being on this 3D chaotic world, What happens? You downgrade. You become, quote, stupid until you learn these things you need to learn in order to enlighten yourself and become smarter. In this day and age, it is you choose to be stupid or you study, you research. And what God on earth right now, being in a human body, they don't know they're God. They don't know they came from a higher dimension until they wake up. And then when they wake up, what they discover or what I have discovered is this. Through mistakes, we are flawed. Being on 3D. I repeat, we are flawed on 3D. However, coming back from a higher dimension, there is no chaos in the higher dimensions. It is only on Earth. 3D world. Not in 5D, not in 9D. There is no chaos. The in the higher dimensions. It is only on Earth. Therefore, when you come down to Earth, you let go of being Miss Perfect. You let go of being a god, having powers, having a higher IQ, having, again, being perfect, no flaws, come to Earth, you're going to screw up. It is bound to happen because what happens when you reincarnate? Oh, I get put into a baby's body and I have to grow up. I stumble before I can run and I have to relearn everything. Therefore, my flaws are mistakes that I have to learn from. Therefore, being a god on earth, you're going to screw up a lot. If you learn from it and wake up, you are one step ahead, meaning you are headed towards 5D again, breaking out of the 3D curse. I say curse because a lot of people are, what, stupid. I am not going to sugarcoat it. I am not going to lie. All of the cartoons that I have seen in the Western Hemisphere, uh, I think it's Western, yeah, Western way of life. I don't think it's Hemisphere. I was going to say Western way of life. What happens in the Americas? (laughs) Stupid. Hiddity, everywhere you look. Fast paced life, uh, out of nature, you're around people you hate, you're around people who you just want to shut up, you have people walking all over you, you gossip, you care only about yourself, you care about 
money, greed, uh, the seven deadly sins come to mind. And that's not a good thing. Believe me. Get out of that. Bad habit. Bad habit. Kill it. Just kill it. So, yeah, being on 3D, you are susceptible to screwing up, being maybe one of those seven deadly sins. But here is what I also figured out. Being a god, you either retain uh, what you came from. Uh, what I mean is the culture you came from, you either keep it or you toss it out the window and go dance with the devil. And I just knocked something down. So, I repeat, coming down to Earth, you either keep your culture that you came from, or you toss it out and dance with the devil. And what happens? You, it's not good. Tossing out the culture you left behind, meaning... On Earth, you are succumbed to the demons, the darkness, toxic people, cruelty, abuse, neglect, the list goes on. However, being from 5D dimensions and above, you don't really have those crimes, those sins. You either keep the laws of the gods, or you toss it out and say, No, I'm not going to be that. I'm going to be a demon. I'm going to play with demons. I'm going to play with fire. But the angels, or what I feel, would say, Okay, I'm going to help people. I am not going to torture people. Why would I? Because that's insane. And... I'm going to help people, like, I'm going to live with nature, I'm going to help people, help animals, uh, whatever else you would do uh, for me, teaching, giving advice, helping others, uh, bringing awareness, enlightenment, just being spilled, so, uh, so again, Wicca comes to mind, uh, Buddha, Buddha is one as well because, again, Buddha was a god. Or, in this case, was an alien. Uh, so, to speak from alien theories, uh, theorists. But, yeah, if you don't know that show. Uh, but that's besides the point. Angels don't look the other way. We acknowledge the sins, the crimes... Demons say, okay, I don't care, I'm going to hurt whoever I want and get away with it. Narcissism comes to mind. Selfishness comes to mind. Abusing others. All those bad, negative, horrible things. And we either become like that or we say no more. For the light... We say no more, we rise above it, we let go of all the toxic bullshit. When most people say, okay, I'm going to roll with it, gossip, dawdle, and don't rise up. They take the easy way out. Again, they are more flawed than the gods who say, okay, I am flawed, but... I am going to learn from my mistakes. And this is what I learned or what just hit me. The event that I could not close. And it just hit me because I buried this past that I said, okay, I am evil, I am a demon, and I'm going to be like the other people. Hurting others and doing all that bad, toxic crap. But 
At the same time, I was what a lost, confused soul, trying desperately to figure out what I am, who I am, and what I stand with, what I stand for. What I discovered was I never really gave up the light. I thought I did, and then it hit me. The light never left. I never wavered from be- to be a demon. I never wavered from doing the great work, doing my mission that I came here to do. I never wavered from the culture I left behind to come to 3D Earth. I still kept the views, the culture, and the laws of 9D, 5D, whatever. And to this day, I never gave that up. I thought I did. That is what the demon inside me wanted to do. Here's the thing: a demon accidentally entered my mind through a spell. My a person I used to know. Uh, I don't really remember what we were doing or why. But we drew a spirit into me. Turns out it was a demon. But even without this spell, it would have happened anyways, regardless. So the thing, okay, I have a holy guardian angel. I know his name is Ezekiel. Not gonna lie, I had confirmed confirmation that this is real. And he was not lying, so I knew this guardian angel appealed to me when I was younger, before this demon entered me. My holy guardian angel entered me first, followed by another spirit, and then maybe、uh, I think okay, the male was is my holy guardian angel. Then it was a female. Or was it the demon then the female?、Uh, doesn't really matter. So I have like two guardian angels,、uh, basically.、Uh, and yes, you can have more than one teacher, more than one angel.、Uh, for me, I have like two. So, but I needed that. So this demon entered me, and then that's when the problem started. I began to think. The light left me. Turns out this demon was making me think that, making me think I was a demon, that I was evil, that I was some sort of alien because no one liked me, no one could relate to me. However, that's not the case. I found many years later that I'm the alien. Everyone around me. Is broken. The world around me is in chaos. I'm in peace. So yes. So this demon literally made me think the light completely left me. Then I met someone,、uh, an earth angel, as they are called,、uh, who nudged me into more of who I am today, and I am blessed that that. Uh, event took place. I understand why it happened.、Um, it made me realize I was missing something, and now that I am more well because of this person, I can I can say yeah. I can see through the bullshit now. What the demons try the the false light that I call it.、Uh, why that yeah. I can see through it now, because this person helped me get to them, because I resonated with what he was saying. I accepted it,、uh, as they say, you vibe with it if you、uh, went. Yeah, you you know the quotes.、Um, but here's the thing: the same person that basically I idolized、uh, in a way. Uh, said I was selfish, 
and that I was a demon. I literally broke down in their tears, and I was shattered from the inside out. I felt like I was broken into a million tiny pieces, and that was it. So all this talk about a demon making me think the light left me resurfaced. And it kind of just hit me like yesterday or really more today. So basically, this person made me remember something I forgot about that I buried. And then I began to think back to that time, the shadow self not healed came back with a vengeance and made me start to think, okay, maybe this person is right. That, you know what, maybe I am darkness. No. Nope. Because my holy guardian angel never left me despite all the chaos and all the nonsense the Pause. Mind blown. The war inside me. My holy guardian angel, angels, never left me, despite what was going on inside me and around me. And then it hit me. You know what? There was no darkness. I was a seed. The pain, the trauma, cracked me open to see the light and you know what? I never lost the light to begin with. The light was always there. I was just in the shadow. I could not see the light. And what I mean is analogy of when Earth goes to night, it is in the shadow of itself, so you see night. However, the sun is still there, you just cannot see it because it is night time. So, dark night of the soul. I get that now. Except I didn't know I went through it until, yeah, until like, like, right now. Uh, Yeah. So, yes, I went through a dark night of the soul, discovered that I did, and this is my story. The light never left me. I never gave up the culture that I left. I still kept the ways of the gods, the ways of 9D, 5D, whatever. I still have that. Despite being called a demon by this person I idolized, despite everything. And then, when I was uh, talking uh, about this to myself, basically talking it out, I'm crazy, we all do it, talk to ourselves, oh, but wait, I'm talking to the universe, I'm talking to the gods who are listening, I'm talking to the angels who are listening, keyword, might be, be Oh, wait, they are, duh, because they are always Watson, or so I think. Oh, wait, they are, uh, because I wouldn't be here right now doing this, so, yeah. Uh, anyways, when I was, uh, got through done talking about that, then something happened. The same thing when I, I never actually talked about this before, so uh, when I called upon an archangel, uh, basically, the, uh, well I'm just gonna say, well I didn't, no, I'm just gonna pull the band-aid and just, yeah. Uh, so I one time invoked Archangel Lucifer, the morning star, 
not uh I know he's considered the devil, but no, this isn't. Lucifer, uh, Latin means light. So, light. Morning star, a star, again, light. So, we are focused on light. So, what I literally did was, okay, I'm going to invoke this spirit of light. And I felt something. So, going back to the conversation I had with the universe and who, uh, whoever was listening, be it a god or an angel, the same feeling of the invocation took place without me physically asking to be invoked by the spirit of light. However, I do know this. This light, my holy guardian angel's light, meaning the light of the gods, they, their light is always inside me, inside of whoever acknowledges that light, their light, meaning your own personal light, but then you also have the light of the gods, the angels. I mean, and there's like two lights inside of you, but you have to see the other two. You have to see your f light first before you can see the light of the angels, the light of the gods. So once I saw my light, after that conversation took place, uh, with myself, with the angel, the universe, the invocation took place without me verbally asking for the invocation to take place. I figured it out. My soul subconsciously asked for it. Or did I just reawaken the light that never left? Both. The answer is both. I woke up, found the light again, reactivated the light, and asked to the invocation to take place subconsciously. And then this new feeling happened. You know what? I feel back to normal, my balance. Before, I felt, okay, something is missing. I got super depressed only because life happens, just something was going on, but then I know I never fully healed from the event that took place months prior. Again, this happened in 2019. Uh, the, the private message said, hey, you need to look at something that happened to you in two, uh, between two and three years ago. Turns out no, nothing happened in my past except for in 2019 and then once that was made I made my peace with that event events somehow I don't know how but I did and I feel back to normal and then I took uh well I've been taking photos recently uh since I've been in the mood again and like Today and yesterday, I felt, or I saw, a glow again. And this is before I did the whole uh, conversation with the universe, the light reactivating. But now, uh, it's just hard to, uh, hard to explain, but... Uh, Something else happened, which could have, uh, a, how do I want to say this? Something else happened, which could have helped me fi find the answer that I was looking for. Uh, uh, but this, yeah, I'm just gonna... Okay, so I was browsing through photos, I 
was okay quote what the eyes are the window to the soul and with that quote in mind i felt something and then this whole conversation with myself and the universe took place is it because i saw these pair of eyes felt the light and then this happened did it catapult me to do this or is it because of this matches that i got that said hey you need to look back at your past uh, be elevate yourself look back do you need anything to heal etc so there's yeah i'm going to say everything ha- has a reason the matches me finding that photo feeling that feeling on that photo and then the conversation to myself to the universe happened followed by the invocation and the activation of the light from within took place followed by this crazy long confusing video no doubt because this is on another level 5D level yeah it's, it's going to be confusing i do apologize well i can't really apologize because how else am i going to if you understand the message then i don't know how because i barely understand what happened so the angels work in mysterious ways the gods are there angels are there follow the light find your own light reactivate the light from within uh etc and i did all that and i am now back in peace with myself um i don't know what else how else to uh make that more clever i'm, I'm trying to think but there's really nothing else to say i don't think uh yeah it, trippy that's the word trippy yeah i'm going to yeah going to leave it on that trippy until we meet again